Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We hope you're having a great day. On the gold side, we're up about 10 bucks this morning. As we indicated to you before, just relax. Uh, the Commodity Futures Trading uh, Commission report uh, of uh, positions points out that for the first time in more than four weeks, there are net long positions. In other words, there are buyers in the room in the gold area. So be of good cheer. As we turn back to the European situation, uh, a little bit less hopeful. First of all, it appears that the Greek default may have begun. In other words, they have already failed to pay obligations due. Secondly, this may lead us to a belief that the so-called pigs, Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece, and Spain, uh, may suffer a similar fault. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, may suffer a similar fa fate. And as a consequence of that, we may see 50 cents on the euro or $1.5 trillion worth of difficulties that have to be paid for by governments. Now, these governments, of course, don't have any money. And what we've begun to see in England, we saw in Greece, we've seen this to a degree in Italy, we also saw some in Germany and France. There are a lot of people in these countries who are utterly dependent upon the government. The government has always used money to buy its way out of us, institutional classism. We won't call it racism, we'll call it classism. And as a consequence, when we are under these governments are unable to continue to pay those gigantic uh, uh, interpersonal payments, those people are very unhappy. And as a consequence, a direct consequence of this, we will see political unrest. We've been talking about this for four years. And every, every few months it goes by, we get other examples, and the political unrest grows. In addition, we are afraid that the U.S. malaise is not yet being fully priced into the stock market. Uh, because there seems to be a view among the ruling class that everything is basically okay. Regular Americans know that everything not only is not okay, it wasn't okay, and there's no prospect of it being okay any time in the near future. And so we believe that the stock market has a considerable downward path to go. We're not one of those people who believe the Dow is going to be 3,000 in 2013. But we do believe that there's got to be a more accurate reflection in the stock market of the depth of the problem. But of course, I guess, if you're traveling in limos and all your friends are traveling in limos, it's hard to be in contact with what's going on among <clears throat> average citizens. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Look for the trouble spots. Look for situations where you can make some money. We're still looking at the housing market. We haven't seen much of a positive result yet, but it might be just about being time to dip our toes in there in some small way. Keep your eye on research in motion. We're also looking very closely at a New York Stock Exchange uh, stock that pays 20% dividend. If you'd like to learn what that is, give me a call on 781-380-8888. Thanks.